In this video, we are going to solve the problem. Find the maximum element in an array which is first increasing and then decreasing. Previously, we solved the problem search an element in a sorted and rotated array. So, the most optimized solution for this problem took log in time and O and space complexity. So, we used modified binary search to come up for this optimized solution. And for the today problem also, we are going to use binary search to find the optimized solution. So, before moving to the problem section, if you found this video useful, please do like. And for more interesting coding problems and the coding concepts, please subscribe this channel. Now, let's talk about today's problem. Given an array of n elements that is first strictly increasing and then maybe strictly decreasing. Find the maximum element in the array. So here we are given an array and that array sequence is initially strictly increasing and then after it will be strictly decreasing and we need to find the maximum element in this array. And we are given a note also if the array is increasing then the last element will be the maximum value. So that makes a complete sense. Because if an array is increasing, so the last element will be the maximum element. So that is like normal thing. So now let's look for our example. So we are given an array of 9 elements. And this is our array, which is firstly strictly increasing. So we have 1, 15, 25, 45. So they are increasing. And after that, we are having decreasing thing. 42, 21, 17, 12, 11. So the maximum element is 45. So we are going to output 45. So the most obvious solution is linear search. We are going to create a variable max. And initially we are going to assign minus infinity kind of value in it. And then we are going to scan each element of the array. And we are going to compare the max and the current element. And we are going to assign the maximum of current and max to the max variable. And we'll keep doing this process until we complete our whole linear scan of the array. And then whatever the value our max variable is containing, that will be our maximum value in this array. So what will be the time and space complexity for this linear search method? So this is going to take O in time. Can we do better than this? So if we look our array, our array is having a unique property. So let's try to visualize it. So our curve is going to look like something like this. Our array is initially increasing. And then after it's going to decrease. Our array is strictly increasing initially. So it means we are going to get a straight line curve in the upward direction initially. After that our array is strictly decreasing. So we are going to get a straight line in downward direction. So this portion is strictly increasing. Then after it's strictly decreasing. And we need to find this peak thing. We all know about binary search. And we know when we need to apply binary search. Whenever we are going to have an array that is sorted, we are going to apply binary search. Because that is perfect case to apply binary search. And find our target quickly. So if we try to visualize the curve for the sorted array, our graph will be like not a straight line, but it will be always moving in the upward direction. And we are looking for some target here. So in normal binary search, what we do? We firstly define our range, where our target could be. So initially our range will be the complete entire range of the array. Initially our left will be at the first element and the right will be at our last element. So this is our complete entire range where our target could be. Then we go for the middle element and compare this middle element with the target. And there could be three possibilities. Either this middle element is equal to the target. So that is our perfect case. We are going to return this middle index. Or this middle element will be bigger than this target. So in this case, our target is not going to be present in this complete range because all the elements in this range from this middle to R will be bigger than target because this is a sorted sequence. 
so all the elements after this middle element will be either bigger than this middle element or equal to this middle element but our target is smaller than this middle element so our target could lie on the left of this middle it couldn't be present on the right of the middle so it doesn't make a sense to look for our target in this range so it's better that we should move our right pointer to mid minus 1 and the last case could be our middle is smaller than target and the last case could be our middle is smaller than target so we are not going to find our target on the left of the middle because on the left of the middle all the elements will be smaller than target so it's better that we should shift our left pointer to mid plus 1 that is in this range because in this range there is a possibility that we can find our target so this is our normal binary search so why i am discussing this thing here because if we look closely our middle element is always going to lie in this increasing sequence thing there is only one scenario for this middle element to be if we pick any point on this curve that point is going to lie in this increasing sequence thing because this complete range is sorted but coming to this case if we choose any point randomly in this sequence that could be either be in this strictly increasing sequence or it could lie in this strictly decreasing sequence so there is like two possible scenario for this middle point or for this random point but in this case there was only one scenario that is that our middle point is always going to be on this increasing sequence thing but in this case it could either lie in this strictly increasing thing or it could lie in a strictly decreasing thing whenever our middle point or random point is lying in this strictly increasing sequence then we know our maximum value or largest element will either be this middle or it will lie on the right of it that makes a complete sense because all the elements on the left of it will be smaller than this middle element so there is no possibility that our largest element or our biggest element is going to lie on the left of this middle element so it's better that we should shift our range from this middle point because our largest point is going to lie on the right of it either our largest point will be this middle element or it will be on the right of it so this is one scenario and the second scenario is when our middle point is in the strictly decreasing sequence so in this case our largest element is not going to be present on the right side of the middle or it's not the middle element also so our largest element is going to be present on the left of it so it's better that we should move our right pointer to mid minus 1 so this is two possible scenario here in the normal binary search there is only one case but in this strictly increasing and decreasing sequence we are having two cases our middle could be present in any of these two cases so we need to take care of these two scenarios so now we are going to create our algorithm so this is the example which we are going to consider so this example is strictly increasing 7 9 that is strictly increasing then we are having a strictly decreasing sequence that is 8 5 4 8. so this algorithm is going to take log in time and o and space complexity because we are going to use modified binary search to find the largest element in this strictly increasing and decreasing sequence so initially we need to declare our range that is common in every binary search so our left will be at the first index so l is equal to 0 and right will be equal to the last index so right is equal to n minus 1 and we are going to create one extra variable that is answer which is going to contain the index for the largest element in this strictly increasing and decreasing sequence so initially answer is equal to minus 1 now we need to find the middle of this range left and right so middle is equal to floor of left plus right divided by 2 so this is also common step in every binary search so we got our middle now the next step is to find out whether this middle is lying in this strictly increasing sequence so how we can decide so this is very simple if the elements 
that is previous to this middle is a smaller than the element present at this middle index it means we are in a strictly increasing sequence otherwise we are in a strictly decreasing sequence now with addition to that there is one more extra condition if our middle is zero it means that there is no previous element so how we are going to decide whether we are in a strictly increasing sequence or decreasing sequence so it's given in the problem that our array is initially strictly increasing so if our middle is zero it means we are in a strictly increasing sequence so that's why if our middle is equal to zero or the element that is previous to the middle is smaller than the element present at the middle it means we are in the strictly increasing sequence so our largest element will be present either at this middle index or on the right of it so we are going to shift our left pointer to mid plus 1 because there is a possibility that our largest element will be present after this middle index because all the element before this middle index will be smaller than the middle index so obviously largest element will not be present on the left of the middle index so that's why we are shifting our range to mid plus 1 or there is a possibility that this middle index itself is our largest element so we are going to store this middle index in our answer variable so this is the case for the strictly increasing sequence now if our middle index is not in a strictly increasing sequence it means it is in a strictly decreasing sequence so our largest element will be present on the left of the middle index because all the elements on the right of the middle including this middle is not going to be a largest element because mid minus 1 is already bigger than middle and all the elements after this middle is going to be smaller than mid minus 1 because they are strictly decreasing so there is no possibility that our largest element is going to lie after mid or on the mid index so that's why we need to shift our r pointer to mid minus 1 and we need to repeat this process until our left is a smaller than or equal to right when our left and right crosses each other it means that we have find the index of the largest element and it is stored in the answer variable so at last we are going to return our answer variable and this answer variable is going to contain the index of the largest element now let's do a dry run for this example so our left will be at 0 and right will be at 4 so it's complete range so we'll find our middle so middle is 2 and initially our answer is minus 1 so we got our middle index now we need to find whether this middle is in a strictly increasing sequence or decreasing sequence so for that we are going to compare the element previous to this middle index so the element previous to the middle index is 9 and the element present at the middle index is 8 so the previous is bigger so it means we are in a strictly decreasing sequence so our largest element is going to be present on the left of the middle so we need to shift our r pointer to mid minus 1 this case so in the next step our r will become 1 that is mid minus 1 and left is 0 so again we will find the middle so middle will be 0 so when middle is 0 it means we are in the increasing sequence due to this condition so we need to set our left pointer to mid plus 1 so left will become 1 and answer is equal to middle so answer will become 0 now in the next step left is 1 right is 1 and middle is 1 so we are going to check whether this middle is in a strictly increasing sequence or decreasing sequence so we are going to compare with the previous so previous is 7 and the middle is 9 so we are in a strictly increasing sequence so we need to set our left pointer to mid plus 1 so left will become 2 and answer will become mid so answer will become 1 so now our left is 2 and right is 1 so left and right crosses each other it means that we got our answer so at last we are going to return whatever the index is stored in answer so that is 1 so 1 is our output so that is true 9 is the biggest element in this example so initially we need to declare our range so we are going to create two variables left and right initially left will be at 0 and right will be at last index 
so it will be n minus 1 and we are going to create a variable answer which is going to contain the index of the maximum element so initially it will be minus 1 and at last we need to return the element present at the index answer so let's return it now we need to write our binary search algorithm so we are going to start a loop which is going to run until left is smaller than and equal to right so I am going to use while loop for that the first step is to find the middle of this range left and right so let's find it now we need to find out whether our middle index is in the strictly increasing sequence or in a strictly decreasing sequence so if the element before the middle index is a smaller than the element present at the middle index it means we are in a strictly increasing sequence because the previous element is a smaller than the current element so let's write that condition so we are in a strictly increasing sequence so it means that our largest element could be either this middle index or it could lie on the right of it so we are going to set our answer variable to this middle index and we are going to shift our left pointer to mid plus one because there is a possibility that our largest element could be on the right of the middle index so that's why we are shifting our left pointer to mid plus one and we don't want to lose this middle index because this could be also the possible answer so that's why we are storing this middle index in our answer variable otherwise we will be in the strictly decreasing sequence so we need to shift our r pointer to mid minus one because our largest element is going to lie on the left hand side of the middle so in this there is one thing is missing that is if our middle index is at zero so it means there is no previous element so we can't do the comparison of mid minus one and mid because our middle is pointing at the zeroth index so in that case it means we are in a strictly increasing sequence because our array is initially strictly increasing so we need to put that condition in the if statement so let's write it so this completes our code let's run it so it's giving us correct output let's submit it so it's got submitted it's efficient because it is going to take only log in time and the space complexity is o1 so that's it for today so this problem is based on the binary search we need to modify our binary search so for that we need to understand the basics of the binary search then only we will be able to modify our binary search algorithm i hope it was clear for you people if so please do like this video and subscribe to this channel for more interesting coding problems thank you for listening see you next time with a new problem